Indeed. So, uh, you said there's a bounty on this captured Jedi? Do you know why? Don't know much about it. Maybe the Exchange wants one as a trophy, or somebody's got something against Jedi and is looking to collect. Not many Jedi left. Wouldn't surprise me if the bounty's pretty high. Ah. What is this Exchange? The Exchange is a big crime outfit. Mostly operate out of Nar Shada. Spice running, gun trafficking, slave trading. Now I guess they're posting bounties on Jedi. So why would they offer a bounty on a Jedi? Like I said, I don't know too much about it. Could be something personal, or just business. Either way, there aren't many Jedi left to do anything about it. Why? What happened to them? The ones that weren't killed in the Jedi Civil War ended up switching off the lightsabers long ago. Word is there's not even a Jedi Council anymore, but who knows. Hmm, I heard rumors of about uh, some kind of war. War between Jedi? Yeah, Revan, Malak, and the Jedi that went to join them in the Mandalorian Wars. They turned against the other Jedi and had a scrap that almost laid waste to the galaxy. <laughs> Where have you been? Uh, where have I been? Sleeping. Yes, I took a long nap. Very tired I was. Anyway, none of your business. Let me see. So, ta -ta 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 -ta. Uh, yes! What happened next in this epic tale? Well, I wasn't there, but like all Sith, Revan and Malak turned on each other. After they turned on the Jedi, of course. Oh, right, 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 yes. Although I did hear that uh, Revan saved the Jedi, the Republic. Yes, I heard this. So it's an epic tale, you know. I guess. There's rumors all over space about it. All I heard was Revan returned to pay Malak back for trying to kill her in the first place. You know women. Uh, excuse me? <laughs> I just think you may have got your stories a little bit crisscrossed. Riven was a man, not a woman. Maybe you're right. Maybe I just hope Revan was a woman. Anyway, enough discussions about this. I need to find out exactly what happened here. Look, not like your half-naked interrogation isn't a personal fantasy of mine, but... Hey, wait a minute. You're that Jedi the miners were talking about. Where is everybody? So I'm trying to ask you, you stupid idiot. I don't know, you... Don't look, don't... I've had enough of your games, don't play dumb. You must have... You must know what happened here. From my beautiful view in the security cage? Look, I heard some explosions, some emergency alarms, some toxic gas pouring out of the vents. Maybe none of them survived whatever happened. And if they're all gone... Look, hey, let me out and I can help you. I can. I've gotten out of trouble countless times. Oh, I, I can see. Yes, you're trapped in a cage. I don't see you getting out of this one. Just give me one good reason why I shouldn't kill you. Like, uh, maybe tell me your plan. And we'll take it from there. This facility isn't a military installation, which means we may have a chance. You shut down the cell security field and I can reroute the emergency system so we can get to the hangars. We grab a ship and then we fly out of here. Hmm. Okay. So how... Oh, apparently I can switch off the cage by talking to him. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I'll play along for now. I'll switch off this cage, my friend. But if you try to run, I'll cut you down without a second thought. Great. Now to business. Let's get to the command console. Okay. Just stay ahead of me. And don't make any sudden moves. Just have my blade pointed at his back. All right, here just we in are. case he tries now, anything. This console is set on automatic hail. You may have heard it when you came in. The asteroid drift charts are constantly being updated. So it sends out a transmission to incoming vessels so they don't get crushed into space dust. The hail warns them to keep their distance until orbital drift charts are transmitted, and then provides docking instructions to incoming ships, usually freighters. The thing oh is, you can bounce that same transmission back to the comm here, and suddenly you've got access to the communication system from the inside. Can you just do it and stop gabbing? Zach, the console's ours. Now all we need to do is reactivate the turbo lifts, cancel the emergency lockdown, and... Hey! 
Uh, what's wrong? This system's been severed from the main hub after it was locked down from remote. You can't even reroute the system, it's been cut clean. Um, is it, did someone do it on purpose? That's my guess. To cut off the console specifically from remote and sever the hub. Doesn't get any more deliberate than that. This guy is speaking in damn riddles, he's worse than that old woman, Kraya. Just do what you need to do, will you? Come on! There must be somewhere to end the lockdown from here. I doubt it. All we have is communications back. For all the good trying to shout in a vacuum will do us. <sighs> Come on, let's just try. Be my guest. Not much else we can do. The comm's all yours. Yeah. Let's see. All this technological mumbo jumbo speak. Let me see if I can use simplicity to gain some progress here. Shout loud as you can. That might do something. <laughs> Let's check the log. Ooh, more logs. Okay, so log 253-12. Tracked at the freighter in. Was lucky it wasn't destroyed when it drifted into the asteroid field. Not much on board. One damaged droid, one annoying protocol droid, and a lot of bodies. Sent the survivor to medical, the others to the morgue. Didn't recognize the ship's ID code, so we transmitted it to the Republic for some answers. Questioned the protocol droid about what happened. Says his master, the survivor, I guess, was on the Republic ship, the Harbinger. It suffered an engine pit. He says the survivor was a passenger on the vessel and a Jedi. If so, that's gonna mean trouble. It's going to mean what? Trouble? You're gonna say trouble there? 253-14, two days ago. Inventoried the bodies and cargo. Everything matches the protocol droid story. The T3 droid had seized up, so we left it in storage and standby mode. Don't know what code will access it. It could be its voice activated for all we know. We put the protocol droid to work in maintenance, sorting the mining droid comm routines and updating the recognition sensors. Man, to shut him up. When the survivor recovers, hopefully we can get him off this station before there's a... I hate the... I hate how all these logs end at the vital bit. <laughs> okay, 253-17, only one day ago. Trouble between the work shifts. Word of the Jedi leaked out and the miners aren't sure what to do with her. Corda's mining crew wanted us to collect the creds for the bounty the exchange has on Jedi, but I put a stop to that. We're contacting Telos to get the Republic records on the Jedi, but nobody will know no word from the Republic. But I've sent out a broadcom transmission for records on this Ebon Hawk. One of the miners said it used to be a smuggling vessel. Accidents are making the miners restless. The droid behavior course must be undergoing some kind of binary decay. Two miners were drilled by a droid's mining laser, and those blasts in the ventilation tunnels nearly caused the whole facility to blow. Hmm, things aren't looking good. Anyway, access comm system. Let's speak to the dormitories. Hello? Hello? Anybody there? Damn. Looks like simplicity may not work here. Hangar Bay 25. Hello? Anybody home? Low pitched whistles and beeps. A droid. Anyone there? Hello? Answer me. I recognize that beeping. It's a droid. <laughs> Are you operational? Uh, okay. Yes. Now! I need another route off this level! Now, quickly! Uh, does that mean no? <laughs> There must be some emergency hatches or something. Try and find one. Uh, yes, don't question me! Just do it! Ooh, progress. Ah, and we take over as a droid. Order to do business. Is this a good friend T3, whatever his face was called? How do I get out of here? Rescue Shala. So we are uh, trapped on the prodigious administration level. Uh, basically, we're trying to unlock an emergency hatch to escape. To find a console that ties into the prodigious 
uh, command and control and open the emergency hatch by remote. All uh, right. Ah, look at this. Credits and components. Some repair kits. It's all going rather swimmingly so far. Seal door, can we bash it down? Welded the door shut. Probably welded shut this one as well. It's open. Well, that's handy. Just double check this one. Ah! Oh. Oops! Ah, ah. Suckers. Right, okay, so we've got a split pass situation. Storage room. What's up here? Oh, I might have missed some goodies down there. Oh, there she is. The Ebon Hawk. Finding a way to get Shalar down to the hangar bay. I don't know which way to go. Do we go up here or should we go down to the storage facility? Or are we in the storage facility? Ah, oh, bugger it. Nope. Nope. Whee! Kinda of fun controlling this little guy. Packets. All the packets. Hangar control. Several parts have been removed from this console, and a laser drill has been used on a number of subsystems. Can repair. I need some basic parts. Well, don't I have repair parts? I have repair kit. What exactly do I need? Obviously, something that I don't have. I'll be back. Oops, a daisy. <laughs> I'm losing control here. Misery. Oh, another one. Right, okay. More of the same then. <laughs> Charles Play. Charles Play, Mr. T3. You are by far the advanced model around here. Ooh, repair kits again, some more things. Credits and med packs. All very handy stuff. Ooh. 